The Fresno State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Decent run here, right side. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up third and two. three yard line he's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option and this one is a beauty oh man he took him down hard so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today five wide Quick throw, incomplete, on of his receiver. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Looking for his man, incomplete. Number three was the intended receiver on the way. From their own 17-yard line, third down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Let's go! Green, 95! Green, Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Ready! He's taken down around the 39-yard line. What a call! Third and short, and they complete a pass for a first down. He's going to go for the home run. He gets another, and this is a big one. Run down at the three-yard line. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 82-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Fresno State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds at the 28. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. three yards there. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number 15, intended receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Fresno State is up by a touchdown. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up third and long. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Under pressure. And he's level at the 17-yard line. Second sack in a row. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Fresno State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. That makes it third and seven. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made right around the 42 yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down right around the 30. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30. Slings it. He's tackled at the 14. Number 30 on the tackle at the 14-yard line. 
first down. Over the middle, there's tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Bulldogs lead 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he's taken down at the 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Watch 32, watch 32. I know he ain't got it. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away. And he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. TCU lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fresno State is up four. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Ready! Black Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle at the 38-yard line. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. read the defense or just made a poor decision but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown here's the eighth play of the series you can't block me here we go and he hits him hard at the 40 yard line that's a loss of 10 fourth down After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Fresno State is up by four. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Ready! Three, five, 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 three, five, five, five. They'll knock him down for a loss. That makes it 37. He scrambled. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And that'll be three and out. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 40. Nice yardage on the run back. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fresno State up seven points. He's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. They come out in an empty backfield. and now the ball is free. Picks up the loose ball, and they hit him in the backfield. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Oh, excellent punt. He fields it at the 17. Gets out to about the 31. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. Big yardage there on the quarterback run. He dropped back to throw the ball and saw that no one was open. He just took off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Steps out of bounds. Around the 32-yard line. First down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and 10. Ball on the 32. And he is drilled at the 26. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. The Horn Frogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. 
a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Ready. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football Let's or go. check it down or take off and run with it. He's hit and taken down. Let's go! Scrambling around. Brought down right around the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. And a man open touchdown. football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A nice 10 play, 69 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This one's all even at 10. TCU to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop around the 26-yard line. Fresno State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Intercepted there. Straight reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 13-10, Fresno State. We've played a half of football here. The Bulldogs with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Fresno State holds a field goal lead. 
And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. That's a team of two. That makes it second and eight. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Ready, ready, Thunder! And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third and long now after the sack. He airs it out. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. They'll bring him down right around the 40. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. That's a team of 24. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 16. He's tackled at the four yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Watch 85, ball thrown 85, watch 85. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, TCU! He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. But I'll tell you, a four-point lead is not a comfortable one, especially in a dogfight like this one. He makes the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, Let's sure. Go! But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. He's doing again complete. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. He's going to try and scramble. Excellent open field tackle. And he's taken out at about the 41. Sacked on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Let's go! 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 17-16, TCU. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fresno State's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns in two possessions. TCU is up one. Tackle at the 41-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. at the 48. They get four yards on that pass play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. Coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For TCU, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also have that one takeaway. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 29. Line. They're about 
four yards away here on second down. Throws this one away. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Up the middle for a nice game. Three down and one to go. The Horned Frogs lead it by one. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Straight up the middle and he'll lose yardage. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop around the nine yard line. He has some room. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And they won't get the two. Plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets out to around the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Let's go! Red 18! Gets out to around the 45. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 45. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Ready! Oh, and a huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. That makes it second and 10. You know, at that point, I think grab the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, you just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Deep pass to the end zone. This one is batted away. I think if he'd reached out a second later, the receiver would have caught the ball. That's perfect timing by the safety. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, this is the kind of guy that any defensive coach just loves. He's a tough guy, he's not afraid to mix it up, and he always seems to be around the football. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. And for TCU, they'll have to come up with something special in order to avoid an embarrassing loss. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he is drilled at the 12. Toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job, maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. The Horn Frogs were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. Hey! Nearly intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Here we go! And he's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Let's go! 59 Holly! Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Scrambling. They'll make the sack. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Under a minute left in the game. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. 
this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. TCU's called their final timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. got great plays called the defense just the answers that makes it so This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Fresno State 22, TCU 17. And the Horn Frogs. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.